Okay. Okay. So three, two, one. Yes. yes. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's okay, what's up? from Fosso Last 1475. The oldest skinny niggas dying with the clouds are too close to the ground, so we all touch the sky. And I'm not alone. I'm watching with the most beautiful women in the world. Sasha K. Sushi from your boy, Africa United. And you are watching Sushi. With Wasabi. Your favorite YouTube show, man. Every week we've been dropping videos now. We've been showing you, you guys see, live. You see, man, you know, it's like we're not betraying you guys Don't anymore. Don't complain. Consistency, man. Yeah. Always there, man. Not one week, dog. Might be a day late, but every single week. New videos. We don't disappoint anymore, guys. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's, let's cut to the chase real quick. So uh, today's video is a uh, story time. It's a uh, it's a story I've been wanting to tell. I don't know if I've told Sasha the story before. No, I've heard a little bit of it. Yeah, not the full story. Probably uh, some of you guys want to know. So I was like, hey, let me just tell the story. So today's story time is how I got into the Queen. Yeah. Um. So yeah, just please go make a hot chocolate or a. Um, or a rooibos with four sugars and milk. Oros is fine, guys. No, no, Oros is not enough, babe. They need to buy. I'm a cake, cake. I'm a scone, some queen's cake. And a rooibos with milk and four sugars and a hot chocolate because it's going to be a long video, guys. I hope you can attack. If it attack, we're selling 100 megabytes or 20 megabytes. Not even 100 megabytes. If it attack, we're selling 20 megabytes. Stop the video. Go buy new data. <laughs> Go buy some more data and then come back because it might be a long what video. What sure. this? I'm not sure. It might be a long video. It might be a 30 minute video, but I'm gonna see. Yeah, guys, get see. one gig, please. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Anyway, to start the story, babe, ne? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Okay. Start the story. Yeah. You know, that's how mm. black people start stories. Oh. I'm not sure what they say. Is it OC or. Because they say, was sugar, was sugar, sugar. gonna have him in the comment section. And then, but you, OC or the OC, I'm not sure. It's been a long time since they told me a story, babe. It's been a long time. Anyway, mm -hmm. guys, this story to start the story, guys, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Are you gonna use that gestures? Yeah, to start you know, the story. Black people, yeah. and then... to, start the, to start the story, gotcha, gotcha, I have to start from the beginning, mm. yeah, guys. Where it's gonna be multiple stories in one story, guys, mm -hmm. basically. To start the story, gotcha, gotcha, let's start uh, on 2016. Yeah, 2016. This on, is basically how you bring up, basically. Yeah, let's, let's, let's yeah. Something like that. So, one strand of the many strands that got me here, babe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so this will motivate you guys. Nah, I don't know if it will motivate. It just... motivated me, so uh, it inspired me. Don't motivate me. Okay. Babe, yeah. You are so beautiful, babe. Ah, yeah. mm -mm. Yes. You didn't yes. say it in the beginning of the video. So let's just let it We can go, make guys. a 30 minute video, babe, of how beautiful you are. Do you know that? We can make it. Because it's starting to with your eyes and say, why do you have such big, beautiful eyes, babe? Anyway, guys, yeah. Let's start from the beginning, guys. Mm hmm. Uh, in 2016, on 2016, oh, the, the the thing, I, I started telling a story, a thread on Twitter. Yeah, but this was 2016, late 2016. But the thread I was telling, I think it happened early 2016, around January, February. But I was telling the story in uh, October, around there in 2016. So a friend of mine, oh, Groovy, shout out to Groovy, man, you know, from Spreview, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Groovy. Groovy is like, hey, he tweets me, he's like, hey, dog, I can't wait until you make it because... Uh, a lot of people who are strangers might not know how hard you've been hustling and that was 2016 so guys i've been put, putting in the work since back then so okru when he when he tells me that when he says that i'm like hey dog i'm like hey you, you're right hey. then he's like yeah i just remember that story of you doing that commercial and yeah he, hey dog so i start that inspires me to start telling the the story on twitter thread mm -hmm. basically this is how the story went i i just got signed to uh uh um what is this okay. agency agency like yeah, a talent a talent, talent model it's, yeah, agency. agency but it's an agency that really signs a lot of people so yeah they take everybody yeah it's not like a, a manager or an agent an agent cares for like five ten people you know no, and it's face to face an agent goes in south africa we, we kind of have that okay with the big agency mm, like a big agency yeah, yeah big they care for a few people yeah guys. Like they give you the attention mm, they yeah. give you the attention or like a manager manager cares about you mm -hmm. he wants to get you gigs and stuff like that an agency in south africa the thing is they sa they sign 300 people 400 people and whenever mm -hmm. there's Lost, a yeah. mm, whenever there's a cost list it, it, we're looking for a 21 year old black male who, and with crazy hair millions come to yeah. like husband. and then they, they they send you as long as you meet those um mm -hmm. yeah so the, the the agency says hey hey man george go to this uh, uh 
go to this um what is this audition and go audition stuff like that so this agent i just got signed to it i was pretty excited about it and then pretty much soon after signing uh they gave me my first uh commercial but uh what i didn't know is that i was an extra i hate extra work guys even though i i rec if you want to be in this business guys i recommend you get signed to an agency and uh do extra work because it's experience you need the experience that i went through Okay, not the, exactly the one I went through because that's weird. That was tough. But oh yeah. my gosh, yeah. it just reminded you reminded me of that. Story. So yeah. yeah, so I feel like you sh you definitely should uh, go through this um, go through this uh, experience because you need to. So basically, guys, what happened is um, they signed me right after about, after about the signer, guys. They they say they call me up and say, George, uh, we've got a uh, an ad for you. I'm so excited. I'm like, what? So we've got an I think ad I was just excited. We've got an ad for you. Mm -hmm. It's in the north by Honeydew. Have to be there at one o'clock. Uh, e, e dressing, e wardrobe is tomorrow, and the ad is on Friday. So this was, I think, it was a Monday. So they say the the wardrobe where they put they fit us on for clothes is Tuesday, and then the ad is Thursday or Friday. So um, I go to wardrobe. They will fit me on. It's a wedding scene, basically. It's a wedding ad. Um, basically, I get dressed the next day very wardrobe you know they do me they put me in a suit say what uh tight pants you know because i have big legs yes this guy yeah but you know I'm, I'm i'm in there guys like i'm excited you know i'm i'm in wardrobe basically i <laughs> yeah friday comes guys when friday comes like that this this ad is in is in the north around honeydew somewhere around honeydew, honeydew. so when i go to honeydew Anjalo, guys um First of all, I go to Bree. Does it takes in Swala Foslo? From Foslo, it is Bree. From Bree, I don't give it takes. So, I don't give it takes. There's a guy that I met at Wardrobe on Tuesday, right? That guy, um, I think we both didn't know where we went. I took his number at Wardrobe. Uh, so, when I got to Bree, it takes a rank. I didn't know which part of Hanju there is. Because, Nang Fia Lapana, Emma takes a rank. They gave me the address by saying uh, it's What What Golf Estate. So that's what I say to the taxi drivers in Samana. I do what what golf estate at uh in Hanichu. So what taxi driver knows the golf estate? Exactly. I'm not trying to generalize here. Yeah, obviously, probably there's some taxi drivers that play the golf and stuff like that. Taxi drivers, how? What's like a wood? I'm bad. But they say they don't know where that place is. But because mm -hmm. it's Hanichu, they really Hanichu. The the thing is, I tried calling the guy that I met at Wardrobe, mm -hmm. Nepal, mm -hmm. and that guy if we knock you off, mm. and now i'm late Yo. on the taxi rank mm. so i'm supposed to be there in the next hour mm -hmm. it's 12 o'clock i'm at 3 12 o'clock uh, i'm supposed to be there on one mm -hmm. so you know i want to be like two hours yeah, early for leeway hour, yeah. but um basically when i get to the taxi rank it's 12 o'clock already so I, it's kind of sanctuary so i give it a taxi honey junior so i've been calling that guy he's not picking up by the time i'm halfway to honey like 15 minutes into the taxi ride this guy calls me yeah when he calls me, he's like, hey, we told you to have a phone. He's sorry for not picking up the phone. Mm -hmm. But he's like, can you, uh, one thing you shouldn't, you shouldn't do, George, is give it like a honey chew. Oh. <laughs> so I'm in the front seat and this man just told me and I'm trying to act cool. With, oh, I'm going to give it a honey chew. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. And I don't like panicking, guys. Panicking you don't panic, so you're probably like, uh, Oh, okay. Okay, okay no, no stress. I put my I turn on my phone. I look. I look. You know, I carry on with the taxi ride for three more minutes. In my head, I'm trying to convince myself to tell the driver to 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 be embraced in this embarrassment. I'm about to tell the driver, hey driver, give the taxi wrong. So one way is up. So I don't know where I am. I'm in the north somewhere. I don't know who to call. I don't know what to say. Yeah. I tell the driver where I'm supposed to go. Mm -hmm. The driver is like yo. You got on the definitely the wrong taxi. We are going that way. The place you want to go is that way. Yeah. So we going opposite directions. Mm. Ah, so now I'm sad. I'm sad. I this man says, get off here, take a taxi um over there, cross the street like Lapana, take a taxi over there, and then it will put you La Pofuni Alcon. I so I get off there. When I get off there, the producer calls me. Hi, the producer of the ad. Hi George, um, I know you were supposed to be here by now. Uh, are you nearby? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He says I'm, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. So, sure. When I say I'm almost there, I walk. It's like a, a five kilometer walk to where I'm supposed to go catch the taxi. I'm running. It's hot. Oh it's hot. It's hot. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I get to the cab. 
with a wet t-shirt very obvious yo it was army i get to the taxi that i'm supposed to give it up mm -hmm. it's empty Yo. It's empty, it's empty, 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 empty. There's only one child, there's only one mother with a child that's crying, rusting. Now I'm stressed, babe, man. Please, I'm, just... Mm. I'm just sad, babe. I, I know that yeah. feeling. I'm going to one by one, one by one. Yo. Two people get in. When those two people get in, but they take say, but now I equal, I you like, they come out. You know, I'm just oh, just you get know? into the wrong taxi and let's go. Hi. So they called me, the producer called me for the third time now. Like, hey George, where are you? Supposed to be here by now. I'm like, hey, why don't you dog, just tell him? Then? I'm just gonna be honest with you. I got onto the wrong wrong taxi, so I'm in the right taxi right now, but it's not it's not dwelling, man. It's not dwelling at all. So uh, you say it's not dwelling. Yeah, they, they yeah. why people understand a bit of Zulu people. Yeah. Give them credit, yeah. It's not dwelling at all. So it's like, okay, uh George, I'm gonna come fetch you wherever you are, just get out of the taxi oh, and my stay boys. where you are. Yeah, so uh, this guy comes through, comes to fetch me very, um, comes to fetch me very from the, the place where I was. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the, in the car right now, Vele, and now we're laughing about getting on the wrong text. It's like, hey man, yeah, mm -hmm. we're laughing, it's nice. I, when I get to the golf estate, Vele, can't you guys? I'm the golf estate, I meet the other cast members, you know, I'm saying cast members because it was extras. I meet the other cast members. The yeah, we sit down and we talk, we talk, we talk. Yeah. Director comes through after a few minutes, like, okay, guys, uh, just sit tight. Uh, it's what, what, what's the time now? It's like half past two or three o'clock. He says, just sit tight. We are going to start shooting your guys' scene at seven o'clock. So, Bang Jahile, babe. Why did they rush you? Bang Jahile, and we're only going to start shooting at exactly. seven o'clock. Exactly. But that's not my biggest stress. My biggest stress is. I know there's no one at home on a motor. There's no car at home. Yeah? My mom doesn't have a whip. So who's gonna fetch me from this place? Hmm. I'm like, I okay. This is where I know the story from. I'm gonna see later. I'm just gonna see someone up and be gonna see in the front there. Mm -hmm. Seven o'clock comes through. We shoot the, we go to the to the place where we're gonna shoot the ad. When we get there, babe, when we get there, babe, um the camera ne, it's over there, ne? They're shooting the, the, the scene, they're shooting the scene. I can see Mangozi. You know, back then I wasn't as inclined with camera knowledge, but I couldn't I know Goti, when the lens is not looking towards me, that means I'm not in the camera, obviously. So you're not yeah, in the, I'm not, I'm not in the shot. Not in yeah. the shot yeah. I'm looking for another camera. Maybe in the camera hidden different angles. But yeah, it, it, the, the camera used to just steal us. It be each up, baby, you know? Just like, you know? Yeah. Like oh my but God, I was like, ah, yeah. man, maybe there's other shots they're gonna do and stuff like that. There's, there's other, um, maybe yes, in Valida, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe in Valida, then, where the camera will be penning it to, to us and stuff like that. All right? We're done. It's a wrap, 10 o'clock at night. So now everyone is going home. Hey, bye. Bye, Jerry. Bye, bye. Tanagile. Bye, bye. <laughs> See you. George, bye, 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 bye. I accept so. So people are going one by one. People are packing up the stuff. Me, I don't know what to do. I call my mom. I tell her, "Good hey, mama. Say um, Here's what's going on. Uh, I have no way to get home. I'm here and like deep in the north, and I don't know. I don't really know where I am." So my mom starts panicking now. She doesn't know who to I call know, now. Yeah. She's stressed and stuff like that. Mom, I worry. I'll find a way. I'll find a way to get home. I. So now uh, I'm stranded basically. I'm walking around the states, the golf states. I'm trying to think of what to do. It's eleven o'clock. I sleep early, guys. So I'm tired already. Yeah. It's been a long day. So I find it's cold. It's going to get cold at night. So I find a place with. Uh, a, with that's blowing uh i think it was a i don't know what it, what it was it was this was clean it was taking out warm air that were like blowing out warm air so i sit there i had a jacket did you have your phone with you my phone was off now Petri is dead i wrap myself around that i wrap myself around uh that that place with it keep my hot air and then I, I sleep next to it you know just to sleep next to it just to get that shut eye a bit and then like i sleep i think for 20 minutes at, 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 on the ground john on the ground sleeping on the ground so after 10 minutes or 15 minutes uh a security guard uh wakes me up he's like hey man what are you doing here because it's a it's a it's an assistant yeah, state it's people live state, there yeah. yeah so hey man what are you doing here i explained to him i'm like hey man we're shooting an ad here 
and uh, we finished late and there's no one who can pick me up. So he's like, hey, you can't sleep here, but, and there's no taxis at this time, so I'm not sure what you can do, but. And um, that's back then, then in 2016. Mm, 2016, Because now you can get like taxis that take you home. Baby, there's Uber now. Oh. <laughs> there's Uber now. Even though probably I was the thing is in my head mm. I'm in that seat <laughs> yeah. and I'm like not even thinking about it. Even though it. Uber would be six hundred rand, but Your please. Uber wouldn't work out because yeah. your phone it's is dead. old. Yeah. Also. yeah. So 20, 16, 20, no, but now. you still would have got an Uber because there's mm. everybody has Uber now. So yeah, babe. Um, this guy says, Hey man, I don't know where you're gonna go, but you can't sleep here and uh yeah, I'm sorry. So he's like, Oh, but there's a there's a there's a security company van that fetches us here at like 11 o'clock you can come with us in that van and then we can take you to Josie where you can try get a cab there but uh yeah that's the best i can do thank you so much Josie. Josie's not bad cbd is fine <laughs> i so the the van comes i i he lets me continue sleep there he's like you can sleep but i'll, I'll fetch you when you when the van is here because i'm tired i'm exhausted so on the ground on the ground yeah yeah i sleep on the ground a few a few minutes later like 20 minutes or 30 minutes later of sleeping uh he wakes me up again he said the van is here already so we get there it's a small course of van but with a canopy and there's like what 10 security guards fans, yeah. or eight security guards already I know them uh, from yeah and inside and then i, I squeeze in the back there um it's at night it's cold the aroma in the air is johannes's quapa it's 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 your <laughs> It's it's bad, dude. It's driving me. Then I saw, and the other gents are listening to my story. I listen to the story of, of the other guys that are are telling um, the other security guards with what's happening in my situation. So the security guards are like, my brother, you can't go to uh, North at this time at MTN Taxi Rank in Chosen CBD at this time. It's it's dangerous. They'll mug you. They'll take everything. Your phone, everything. They'll take. Yeah. yeah, you'll be naked, and there's no taxes at this time. Cause it's about twelve now, twelve to mm, one. Yeah, to one. Yeah. So um, one of the security guards is like, "Hey man, uh, I'll take him, and he can come to sleep in my place." And I'm like, "Oh, okay, thank you so much." Yeah. Um, uh, so he's the last to get off the security guard. Uh, we get off here, then go into the the dodgiest part of Josie guys, where it's old buildings it's abandoned buildings it's it's dodgy guys like there's dogs dying in the in the distance oh, dying oh, i don't know what they're doing when oh, 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 oh. like that's if, so scary yeah. when we when we get in we get in we don't open yeah. the gates we don't open you know the what's gate. the funny thing? I know the story, but not this detail. We don't open the gate, babe. When you go there to that place, mm. you crawl under some open wire, babe. You crawl under some open wire, you know. We shall have the. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to laugh. The story is not a laughing story. Under some story. open wire into mm. an abandoned building, babe. Mm-hmm. An abandoned building. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, really old flats, babe. It's mm. not even a flat. It's not even going up. It's just. Mm many rooms in one yeah. flat house and those it's, flats are not, not mm, the abandoned flats and it's one story yeah rent. it's one yeah. story we enter it's dark big it how dark is it ask me how dark is it oh, dark. dark big <laughs> okay it's dark big, eyebrows like, close your eyes yeah. dark big yeah. we get all of a sudden this what thing, are you seeing we, i'm just following the sound of his footstep <laughs> he's wearing those kumka barak yeah it's, yeah those get here the yeah. what the kumka barak Let's get here, yeah. Chicago. Ah, he's walking, he's walking, he's walking, babe. Mm-hmm. And finally, he reaches out to something and opens the door. When he opens the door, How is he seeing over here? No you idea. probably, you know, if you walk mm. in your house. Opens the, opens the door, and there's uh, two mattresses on the floor, mm. and then one old ass bed. Yeah. So, uh, and then there's. Yo, God bless that man. And then there's a, there's a plug there, the extension cord that's connected to a globe. And they flung it in the air oh, for the light. Yeah, oh, okay. for, yeah for the light. Because I'm like, I and then a candle, a, bl- a black label bottle with a candle. candle. Yeah. yeah, and pretty much, yeah, two. There's one nigga. There's two. Ni- wait, yeah, one nigga already on the floor, mm-hmm. sleeping on the floor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's topless. I think he's naked. Mm-hmm. Bamboo stars, babe. Sleeping, sn- snoring, babe. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah, Yo. pretty much. Then th- that guy said the bed is his. 
but uh, for tonight you can sleep. I can sleep on it. You s- guys, I can uh, sleep on shame. it, and he'll sleep on, man is... on the mattress. I'm like, thank you so much, brother. Mm. Um, I get on the mattress. I had a small bag with that in my phone. Mm. I hold my phone yeah, because in case yeah, I wake case. up without a phone, mm. hold my phone, and then I try to go to sleep and you know not even try to go to sleep i was tired you can't try yeah. like I you just woke out. Pass out yeah i passed out yeah. me i was definitely not gonna sleep woke up in the morning he woke me up in the morning at like what half past five because he has to leave again for yeah mm. woke me up in the morning he's like yeah he's about to leave i'm like thank you so much sir uh, he's like yeah you can catch a taxi tomorrow to mtn taxi rank down that street and stuff like that and then you'll be fine i'll wake up quarter to six i'm walking on the on the street but we take see fixing bear north i get home at like what after that six thought, right i think so yeah i think so, yeah, so somewhere. Sleep, mm. yeah yeah i woke got to, i got home at like 7 a.m mm. my mom worried as hell yeah but he's just okay. just happy to see me so yeah i mean I, I told that story um on um on the timeline yeah, well, which yeah i got a lot of people saying wow dog that's crazy that's crazy mm. oh yeah a few months later the ad shows up on tv and i'm relying on my one I didn't make it on the ad. Uh, I think I'll, my shadow was there. I think, I think my shadow, was the, my shadow was in the background. You know, so yeah, I didn't make it on the ad. Yo. And then so yeah, I. T- there was that ad. You didn't. Mm. Yeah, you didn't make it. On so I tell the story on Twitter. Tell people that I didn't make it, and people, you know, like shame, 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 mm. shame, 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 shame. So yeah, and stuff like that. So then one lady, one sister, this is some some girl there. So one girl, maybe, mm. DMs me. Mm. It's like, hey, I just saw your story. It's crazy, man. Tell me, why do you want to do this thing? Even after all, all going through that, mm. I don't think I have any other path in life. I, I was mm. destined to to you act, do this, to yeah, do entertainment. Want, I want, this. yeah, I want to entertain for the rest of my life. Mm. So I'll do it again if I have to do it. Mm. And then she's like, oh, okay, shut. I then. You know, the end, end of the day, I, that, that lady doesn't follow me, I don't follow her. I don't know why I'm calling her a lady, probably around my age. Mm-hmm. That girl doesn't know my that age, girl, yeah. Mm-hmm. She's a lady. Yeah, I'm just yeah. polite, I guess. Mm-hmm. That lady doesn't doesn't follow me, that was my first time talking to her. Mm-hmm. She My DMs are just open, that's why she didn't DM me. Mm-hmm. So yeah, anyway, a year later or two years later, babe. Mm-hmm. Two this years is later. 2018? 20, is it 2018 or 2017? 2018, does this year? 2018. Yeah, 2018, yeah. Mm-hmm. 2018 comes along guys mm-hmm. when 2018 comes along you know a lot much more has happened you know uh, yeah. i had a good 2017 yeah but uh yeah i mean it's, it's stuff like that but 2018 came along i went to this popular show that maybe all of you know called the microwave boys i went to the microwave boys ne? episode number 50 go watch that episode if you haven't watched it i went to the microwave boys episode number 50 the brothers invite me when they invite me on Jalo the Brothers, I get on there, you know, be myself, you know, those guys are funny, those guys are friends, I consider them friends, you know, they're very funny people, you know, yeah. and it was a great episode, I think, you know, uh, it was just fun, it was just us being ourselves, you know, mm-hmm. and then um, the same lady, the same sister, a year, a year or two years later, mm-hmm. DMs me, wow. right, she DMs me again, she's like, hey, um, I've got a part, a small part for you. If you come audition here, on the Queen, I saw you on uh, the Microwave Boys, mm-hmm. and you were hilarious. I think this part will suit you. Just come audition real quick, mm-hmm. and then yeah, you you will you'll see. She sends me the script. I read over the script a couple of times the night the night before. I go to the audition mm-hmm. to Ferguson Films. When I get to Ferguson Films, guys, she's there, very like, welcomes me, hey George, and stuff like that, and stuff like that. Yeah, I get in, um, I get, I get in, very like, her office, and some other lady too, Uh We we sit down, mm. and then audition process. She says I must audition and stuff like that. I audition, audition and stuff like that, and then she's like, okay, cool, you come through next week. We'll shoot the the episode in a day, and yeah, you you you're on in two episodes, and yeah. Let's shoot the episode next week, Wednesday. I'm happy that time. Yeah, I've got a cameo on the on the, on the Queen. Wonderful. It's crazy. Oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, I got a 
I got a cameo on the Queen. She's like, what? You know, Sasha. What? That's how she says what? What? So, <laughs> so Sasha says what, and then I'm like, yeah, baby, and stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah, the day comes next week, fellow Wednesday. I drive from. I wake up at 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. Drive all. My call time is like what 6:30. Mm. Yeah, I wake up at 4:30. Yeah. So I bath and then stuff like that. I drive all the way to the west. Mm. The west, far, far from the east. It's the other side, east, west. So it's an hour, 20 minute drive. <laughs> yeah, drive, drive, drive. Driving Sasha's car, even yeah, my girl borrows me her car, guys. Mm. Drive uh, Sasha's car all the way to the west. Um, I get there. Yeah, well, the role is my thousand. You guys have seen my thousand, probably. I'll, I'll put it at the end of this video. The role is my thousand. So my thousand. If you just read his description before what I made, it, I made my thousand what he was. My thousand is a trickster who a scammer. Mm. So my thousand is a now I'm for wardrobe, wardrobe, but because I'm just a cameo, so they don't bring, they don't give me my, they don't give me clothes. Yeah, don't I'm supposed to bring clothes. my own clothes, guys. So um, my thousand is supposed to bring shiny suits, shiny suits, supposed oh, to be big yeah. suits, you know. Okay. Um, those tools, and yeah, now you wanna. Stooja, yeah, 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 yeah. With the hat and yeah, maybe hat or just go up and yeah, yeah, and liar, kind of yeah. You can see, you tell this guy is a trickster easily enough. Mm-hmm. So you know, uh, yeah, basically, yeah, that's my thousand, basically. So, but I didn't want it. Just I was just worried because I couldn't find shiny suits. Uh, I, I don't, I, I don't really have that much suits. Even I don't own suits that much. Mm-hmm. I borrowed some suits from Mukabe, a friend of mine. Comes from Mr. Cool. He borrowed me a suit and it's, it felt it fit well. That that's the suit I, that I made up on the show, yeah. Mm. Fit well. I was like, okay, cool. And it, it felt like it was tailored because nice, yeah, nice suit, you yeah. Yeah, too hot. Yeah, nice yeah. suit. So it was a nice suit, babe. So I go there, I get there. When I get there, but you will drop who's over there. Go, go do your your, your your makeup and stuff like that. Um, when I go to makeup, ne? When I go to wardrobe, first of all, I get the weirdest looks babe, from the wardrobe ladies. They look at me, they stare at me, and they're like, what? Who is he playing again? And then they say, My thousand. And then they say, Oh, okay. Okay, they just still give me that weird look and stuff like that. And I say, Oh, okay. But I saw Tolera in Pasha boot. Oh, but it was late. No, but it was late. I'm a suit work. I showed them the suits, even more weird looks. Because I didn't bring the shiny suits. Mm. And I'm like, I'm stressed, guys. I'm stressed. I'm yeah, nervous. You... I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Well, you don't yeah. stress, but when you stress, mm. you stress. Yeah. Then they're like, Where are your shoes? I didn't bring the shoes. I forgot them at home. Mm. I didn't bring uh, my formal shoes. I forgot them at home. Mm. I call a person, person Aruda. Mm. He lives in the West. It's, it's in the morning, maybe seven o'clock or something. Mm. I call a person, I'm like, Percy, I'm in the West, probably 20, 30 minutes away from your house. Can you please bring me any formal shoes you have? Uh, the boy wakes up, drives, brings me shoes and stuff like that. Real nigga, shout out to Percy. Um, yeah, man, he brings me the shoes and stuff like that. So, yeah, I get dressed and then they say makeup. Uh, when they're gonna get to makeup, even more weird looks. Because when I get in, they're like, who's who put the playing? And then they say, uh, my thousand. Then they're like, I. The, the makeup leader, they're like, nah, no, 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 no. My thousand, Lona. Uh, ah, like who, who, who costed this guy? So now, here's the thing, guys. They like the makeup ladies are like, I would just put this here, see, 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 snacks or anything. You, you're not what we pictured. You don't look like the character. You are, you look like you don't fit the character. You, are, you, you're too handsome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're too handsome. You look you too good, look too in, good. In, in the suits. Yeah, you look too good in the suits. And your hair is dreads they were standing dreads mm. so and we really can't cut your hair for one yeah, one episode, one yeah, episode yeah. Honestly, so yeah. off what what can we do they costed you they costed you so it's fine and then also ooh, sis petronella was in there and uh she's i don't I'm, I'm easily intimidated because i'm really shy guys i'm really shy so yeah, I felt try. really intimidated by her. Mm. She's an, an amazing lady. Yeah, well, she was getting into her zone and stuff like that. Mm. Just reading and stuff like that. Um, she, she, nah, she looks at me and I don't feel that... Uh, Connect, like, yeah, that connection vibe. Where I'm gonna, yeah. Now, I'm sure she was... Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was not comfortable. Now, I'm sure she was just shocked. Guti, this guy doesn't, doesn't look like... Doesn't look like yeah, a thousand, thousand, yeah. yeah. It doesn't look like... Um, a thousand, low, yeah, expected. Thousand. So, mm. yeah, man, it was like cold it was very cold 
yeah. the weather, but Knowing the people you, too. Yeah. The, the people too were cold and yeah. Also, uh, being human, you'd be not that they were uh, like unfriendly or anything like that, guys. But they were just the water. They were just telling me by their body language and yeah. not even body language. They said it very good. I, they don't think I, I am for the part. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I go to my trailer. My sh- they tell me to my. I go to my trailer. They're gonna shoot my first scene in thirty minutes or an hour. Go to my trailer. Not not trailer. Sorry, I go to the lounge room where some extras sit. The the the, the extra sit and stuff like that. I wasn't an extra. I was a featured. Yeah, where the featured people sit. sit yeah, well, it's right next to the people who have uh, trailers, like rooms and stuff like that. So the SK is a room there. Uh, Natasha Tahane has a room there. Uh, I saw I saw Vuyo. Yeah, Vuyo Shumaka. Shumaka is a great person, guys. Of made he made he knows me from Twitter, so he was so happy to see me. He said, hey. And Shumaka once said to me like a year ago, I don't remember, baby. He's like, hey, Wasabi, one day I'll work with you. That's what Shumaka said one day when we saw each other at the DSTV Delicious Fest mm-hmm. last year. He's like, one day, my brother, I'll work with you. So that day, when he sees me that morning, he's like, Are you in this? He's like, I'm like, yeah, I'm playing my thousand. Yeah. He was so happy. He's, he, the, he's the person who calmed me down a bit because yeah. he was so happy. He shook my hand. He hugged me. Yeah. He's like, you see, I told Shout you, but you, to yeah, you, you'd be working with him Because if day. it wasn't for him, you would have still been. Mm. He, he, he's like, you're going to kill it. You're going to take it over the moon. High vibes. Mm-hmm. So I'm sitting there on the couch, you know, not talking to anyone. I'm on bad rule and stuff like that. I'm nervous as hell. Um, so for some reason, I decided to brush my hair back. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. I decided to brush my hair back. Because oh, uh, why were you feeling? I don't know. Maybe it was the, the nerves, or yeah. at the same time, I know which I wanted to make my character. I thought, let me make my character. Let me change this guy from what they think would be a scammer mm-hmm. to a more modern look of a scammer which is a forex guy so i took my inspiration from a forex guy the the director didn't tell me to push back my hair no one told me i just started pushing my hair back while being nervous and stuff like that it was like the second sense in me told me you're gonna be this guy Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah and i also said let me freestyle some of this uh script Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let me just add some of my own lines and stuff like that yeah but still keep to the script because i don't know what they'll say maybe the director will cheat on me so they call me, hey George, it's time for your scene. I go to the scene, we shoot the first scene. The first scene is when Petronella comes and gives me the money. That was the first scene in the morning. I was kind of nervous. I thought that scene was going to turn yeah. out terrible because we only shot it like once or twice. And I was nervous as hell. There was, there was no chemistry and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, but it didn't show. It didn't sh- it didn't People show. say it didn't show, but I thought like it was going to be terrible. And I was sad. I went back to the yeah, lounge sad because I'm like, really? I just ruined my first scene. Mm. So I'm sad now. And then Mosetana. Um, Mosetana, I think that's the name, Umo on Twitter, Mosetana, underscore Mosetana. She, I forgot who she plays on the Queen, but now nah, she's a very friendly person. She's she's done shooting her parts, babe. So she she's like, hey, uh, my name is Mosetana. She comes introduces herself. Hey, my, my name is Mosetana. Because she sees me, I'm just chilling like this, with my legs like this. I'm on a t- you know, like, yeah. She's like, hey, my name is Mosetana. Nice to meet you. I'm like, oh, I'm George. Nice to meet you. She's like, oh, okay, nice to meet you. I. She's like, hey, um, she comes back late. She's like, hey, don't you want my room? I'm, I'm leaving. I'm done with my scenes. So you can chill in my room and relax if you want. Mm-hmm. It's, oh, oh, thank you so much. So she offers me her, her trailer, her room, mm-hmm. and I go sit there and I, you know, and I like sleep, wake up again, sleep, you know, just because my, 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 my scene was going to be at the end oh, of the day. Yeah. 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 Still a bit nervous because the whole day, guys, what those makeup ladies were saying ringed in my head, which yeah. I'm not good, for, good enough for this part. Mm-hmm. If, they didn't say that, but it felt like that that's what they were saying so it, that thing like discouraged me in, in a way yeah, okay. so while i was in my room i thought about it I was like hey man guys this lady who dm on twitter knows what she was doing exactly she's costed a lot of people she's she yeah, just she's te- you yeah she's te- out of nowhere. they trusted to cast she's a casting yeah. director she wouldn't just choose me randomly and i auditioned for her then you know yeah you she, know you good yeah. She 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 obviously and she says she she liked what I did on microwave boys, so what does that mean? Let me just being be you, myself. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me just be my this. Let me just be myself. Mm-hmm. So I I'm like okay cool. I'm looking at the mirror. There's a long mirror. I'm looking at the mirror. I'm running through my lines, talking to myself, running through my lines. You know, saying maybe I can freestyle a bit here, able add just this word and word to make it funny a bit, stuff like that. Make something with my face, you know, yeah, to make it funny a bit. So I. It's time to shoot my scene now. It's about four o'clock or so, five o'clock. I, they call me, George, come shoot, shoot your scene. I, we go there. When you get there, oh man, fuck. 
um Usbu Siso. That's the name of the director. Usbu Siso. Look look at the credits when you're watching the Queen or anything from Ferguson's films. There's a guy called Usbu Siso. Amazing director. He's a is a he's a outy. Like each end, like eat a dog. He's very young, yeah. probably in his early 30s. Yeah. The greatest director ever. Makes you feel really comfortable and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. He reads the script, I hope I'm not getting his name wrong. He reads the script, he's like, no, I don't, because Umu Schumacher and uh, boyfriend Petronel were supposed to come to me and ask for the money and then threaten to call SK. SK is that guy who's a mob boss or something like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Threaten to call SK to come and uh, shoot me if I don't give back the money. Mm-hmm. So that's what the scene is. And I was going to be impressed, I was going to be, ah, you guys. You're threatening me with somebody else. Mm. Leave. I don't have the money. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was the scene basically, and then ends there. there. The scene would probably be like soft as hell. Mm. But uh, Spoo is like no. It's like let's leave the, the, the script. It's like uh, calls the props. Props. Bring the guns. Gives Schumacher and uh, Petronella's boyfriend the guns. He's like, okay, you two, you've done some action things. You, Schumacher and and no, no, you, you both of you guys have been through some dodgy things. So you know how to handle yourselves. Why should you call another man to come ha- handle your exactly. business? And you, you your Petronella is your wife, so you want to protect her and uh, save her. You you need to prove yourself. So you can't call another man to prove yourself. Mm-hmm. So ambush this man and then just come fetch your money. You, my thousand, do what you do if you were in the situation and you're just trying to get out of the situation. Just do your own dialogue. Ah, 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 ee, yeah. Ah, yeah, I was devilish. I was devilish, babe. When he said do your own dialogue, said, yeah, do you. you were just like, yes. Ah, ah, guys, there was no dialogue for that scene. There was no dialogue for that scene. Those, those oh, two guys no, came through. When those two guys came through and said, keep out of my layer, whatever I spoke, guys. <laughs> I thought of right there in that moment. I said, let's go. I said, let's go. I was like, you know when uh, Tonga Prada says, yeah. <laughs> I was devilish. As soon as that Prada said, do your own dialogue, just do whatever you feel is right in mm. the situation. Mm. I was like, okay, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll do a skit. I'll perform a skit for you right now. Yeah. yeah. Do what I so know. I did that. I want to, they come through me, you know, I do that thing like, because that's what I do in real life. Babe. Yeah, you yeah. actually do. I, I did that, babe. When I did that, when they, when they were like cut, babe, the whole set was dying, babe. They were laughing. <laughs> After that cut, babe, they were dead, babe. They were wondering what how the hell did this nervous man, quiet man, yeah. in, the, in the morning, wait, become, become this man. thing? Yeah. yeah. One of the assistant directors came to me crying. She's this girl came to me crying. She's like, well done. Because the assistant director came to me in the morning and mm-hmm. was like, hey, man, uh, nice scene, but please relax more. Yeah, listen like, up. Yeah, listen yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, Have yeah. fun. Do, do, yeah, do you. Be you. Yeah. So that same assistant director, that, that girl, came through, was crying, and was like, yeah. She yeah. Was like, yeah. That's, 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 how you, that's how you do a scene. That's how you kill it. That's yeah. how you do a scene. So, yeah, man, from, from, from then on, you know, the rest is history, man. Basically, Bob, Bob Shona liked that and that's what got me onto the throne um zanzi magic uh the throne uh, which i'm gonna break from now on uh, i don't know when i'm gonna go back because i only shot like five episodes and mm-hmm. maybe i'll come back but yeah i'm not sure but uh, yeah so yeah man it's basically guys i was i need to tell you the story so not necessarily to motivate you but if you have some if you find some motivation in this uh take it because I can never give up me guys. I just want to tell you guys that me I want to be the, one of the greatest of all times guys. I wanna, I wanna yeah. be uh, I wanna reach Joe Mafella Heights. I look up to Trevor. Trevor Noah, that's my number one role model right now. I want to I want to be huge guys, I want to be big. Yeah. And I will be exactly I will be because I don't have other other choice guys. I went to UJ to do accounting with Sasha. That's where I found the love of my life. And I hated that. Yeah, definitely. I hated that. I thought maybe it's because uh I'm doing accounting and I, I haven't done accounting since it was called EMS in grade nine. So I, was, I used to copy of Sasha's test. Yeah. Yeah. We used to sit together while writing exams. UJ, you're yeah. not listening to this. <laughs> so I was bad at accounting, guys. I didn't fail. I passed first year and second year. Then. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Uh, but on on the third year, I went to first year for UJ because it's accounting. The second year, the only reason why I stayed is because of Sasha. I literally was 
<laughs> staying there because of Sasha. She knows that too. Yeah, and I then the following year, my mom said, "Go to something you love, which is film and television." Yeah. So I went to Academy of Television. Did and one year, like hated that. it. Exactly. I felt like they were too slow or something. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. They're not teaching they me the things I want. You down. Yeah. So I dropped out of that. So I dropped out of two universities, guys. Yeah. So because it's that feeling, man, of doing something I know I want to do, guys. I remember last year. Last year it was bad at my house where. Basically, a lot of people in my house, basically the whole family, not the whole family, but when I, where it was bad at home, where I was, I was, I was dependent, like they were depending on me to bring back mm-hmm. Imani. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, so I got a great job, guys. It was paying really well. It was paying really well, and um, um, it was, it wasn't bad. It was, it was doing something I kind of like. It was like editing and stuff like that. It was oh, a yes, great yes, job, yes, yes. great bosses, great environment. Mm-hmm. I was editing there and stuff like that. Great pay, amazing pay. Yeah. I bought a great computer from that job. I bought, I think this camera or something. I don't know. Yeah, you got I, a lot of things. Yeah, I got. Yeah, it was a great paying job. And then after a few months, three months, I I, feel, I felt like I wasn't doing it. I I didn't have. It was a Monday to Friday, nine to five job. I felt trapped. Yeah, you were not. Which is the same feeling I feel like when I'm at school. I felt trapped, and I was like, I'm leaving. I told one of my bosses, I'm like, uh. Thank you so much for the opportunity, but I'm leaving. There was no other thing baby in ten baby guys. I would see next month I'm gonna find another <laughs> job. I'm gonna find another Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I'm I know they need my money at home, they need to help yeah, at home. But, I, but I'm leaving this well paying job. Because I, I want to go film videos. Yeah, you want to go do what you want. Yeah. Happens. So I've been through those situations, guys, where it's Oh, no, my back was behind on the wall and there's literally not much I can do but and there's not much I can do and uh, I still chose my dream which is I'm not saying which you shouldn't have a plan B and a plan C or and a, you know, you know, which is going to school school is very important guys I think you should really finish school and this, the, 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 the industry I'm in is tough I'm not, I haven't even scratched the surface, you know. Mm. Uh, one of my favorite rappers, MT, you know, one of the greatest rappers in South Africa, uh, is like, um, somebody tweeted him, was like, hey, MT, how do you feel? You've made it, you're huge now, you're a superstar. And MT replied, it was when MT was still tweeting wild tweets, which was my favorite era in, t- in Twitter. MT was like, I haven't made it yet, so that's what I feel, that's what I say in my head, because I'm, I don't, I, I, I I'm not rude, so I can't say that to real people, to people yeah. in real life. But I'd love to say that because when people come to me and say, "Yo, George, you're a star now. You've yeah. made it." And just because like, of yeah, yeah, never, mm-hmm. yeah. Like the great MT said, "I haven't made it yet." So yeah, I man, guys. Um, you're not there yet. I'm but not there yet, but there is the nothing. Journey. There's nothing I'm not willing to do, guys, to get to where I want to be, where I think I deserve to be. And uh, yeah, I man, let's let's. I don't have any entitlement issues where I feel like just because I've been working an X amount of years, I deserve you an X deserve amount that, of glory. Exactly. Yeah, I feel, I feel like you only get what you, what you, what you've worked for, and you only deserve you only deserve what you, what you're talented enough to bring to the table. Basically, mm-hmm. yeah, like yeah, it's it's a it's a push and pull this this industry thing, and um, it's not easy at all, guys. It's not easy at all. Um, I am thankful for every. Yeah. I'm thankful for every job and opportunity I get, mm. and I'm still gonna push for more. Mm. I'm. St- I still wanna be great. I haven't posted much on my own YouTube channel because I feel like, guys, if you're doing something and there is no growth in it, then there is no, there's no, there's no reason there's why no to purpose. do it. But why yeah, are you yeah, even, why doing even doing it? So I, I'm right now I'm in the growing process before I return to my own YouTube channel. So yeah, man. I just want to be better guys that's i'm obsessed with getting mm. greater i'm obsessed with growing i'm obsessed with um experiencing and experiences i'm, ex- I'm obsessed man, with reaching my idol status guys like the people who i idolize right now i want to i want to call my competitors and my yeah. peers mm. in a few years so yeah and i'm thankful for people around me my friends all of those long, niggas yeah. yeah this is long of niggas who support me as, of, uh, thank you so much to you guys who watch my exactly. channels like i sushi with wasabi mm. and to the most beautiful women in the world who should have left this broadcast nigga a long time ago 
but she, she stuck out with it, you know, because we, we, we you know, used to be rough guys. We used to go to fish and chip dates. You know, and buy Sanyama. the chips. She, 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 me and Sasha used to go to Chisanyama and buy uh, the 30 rand chips. Not with, the meat. Yeah, the 30 rand chips without any bread or meat. And she'd, but have, it was good she'd have the time of her life. She'd eat those chips like it was gourmet, like it was ocean basket. Mm. Mm. But they were really nice! Pass, pass the spice, baby. P- pass the spice. That was such a, like, I was like, you know, I used to look at her and like, oh, this girl is she for real, for real here. Yeah. Like she could, she's beautiful like this. She could be literally with a guy who drives an M3 today. And they Remind that we made tashers. a video they'd named Dating Bro. Please watch that video. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know why she hasn't left, but I'm grateful that she's still here. And as soon as, wait till I get my money right, I'm gonna basically buy her the world and gift wrap it basically, give it to her. But yeah, man, um, thank you so much for everyone who supports yeah. me. Thank you so much for my friends, for my girlfriend, uh, my wife, my family, my mom who, who understood sure. the two times I dropped out of university. Mm-hmm. And that one time I left a good paying job. So I told her I want to make I'm a video, mom. Yeah. That's what I told her. Mom, forget I'm a video. I will YouTube. I'm a video. I will Twitter. She doesn't understand that much about social media. Yeah, my mom that. is yeah. also. I think but, my mom is understanding too. But she trusts me. Yeah, she trusts exactly. me. She trusts me. When I uh, imagine you telling your mom you want to leave your job because yeah. you forget I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a skit. I'm a video. Yeah. I remember last year around this time or earlier in the year, I told my mom, "Mom, I'm a and I told when I left my job, I was like, Mama, this time next year I'll be famous. And then I was just saying it. I I I believed it, but yeah. I was saying what she's gonna basically I was saying she's gonna see me see me on TV more often. Mm. And then I remember this year, she reminded me that. She was like, Hey, I remember Uncha Wuti was famous. And now go be to you, and magic and stuff like that. And yeah, I mean I'm so grateful guys. Uh I haven't, I haven't scratched the surface. Anything can happen, guys. I can, I can, I can, I cannot get any more, after any more roles after 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 what I've had, I've had, I've had this year. But uh, as long as I'm alive, I'll push. Mm-hmm. I'll push to become one of the greatest mm-hmm. in Southern South Africa has ever seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so yeah, thank you so much, guys, for taking me on, on the journey, and thank you so much for watching this long ass video. <laughs> Yeah, tell us if you want more story times. I guess wow. we can tell you more stories. Sure, I'm so inspired. Yeah. I've heard these stories so many times, but every time I hear them, it's, it's been, just it's different. Yeah. I don't want people. I don't want anyone to tell me, "Hey, George, you made it overnight." Exactly. Wow. Yeah, anyone, because people that's that just know one, George know that. That's just one eight. of the stories. That's just wow. one of the stories that I can tell you guys. Yeah, because there's so many. Yeah, but thank you so much, guys, for supporting us, and uh, yeah, we'll try to keep up. And post more videos, guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My name has been Okay Wasabi from First Plus with the Seventy Five to Whiskey Makers. Dying if you must play with the clouds of the clothes with the ground to watch this guy. And I wasn't alone. I was watching with the most beautiful woman in the world. Sasha AK, Sushi from your boy Africa Unites. And this was Sushi with Wasabi. And thank you so much for watching the show. Peace. No, you're supposed to stay still. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, 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 ok